Thermographs provide a quick and simple method of identifying potential problems with your system. Each block of color identifies an individual HVAC zone. The color displayed in each zone indicates the zone's comfort condition. Looking at the color band, when a zone is in the ideal temperature range, it displays a green color. As the zone temperature begins to increase and the space gets warmer, the color gets warmer as well. Yellow indicates an initial need for cooling. Orange indicates a greater need for cooling. Most people can detect a temperature difference of 2 to 5 degrees, so at yellow or orange, they are typically still within their comfort zone. If the zone temperature continues to increase, the zone goes into alarm, indicated by red on the floor plan. You can also determine what will happen when the temperature drops below the ideal temperature range. As the zone temperature gets cooler, a light blue is displayed, indicating an initial need for heat. A dark blue is shown as the temperature continues to drop, indicating a greater need for heat and red again indicates an alarm, this time for low zone temperature. Again, a zone in an alarm condition has only just left its occupant's comfort range. This use of colors makes it easy to identify potential problem zones. Notice the red zones on the second and first floors. Let's investigate the red zone on the first floor and see if there is a problem. We can click on the first floor area in our navigation pane, on the first floor graphic, or on the graphic text link to the first floor, which will give us more detail about what specific zone may need attention. From the first floor graphic, you can see that it is the main conference room that is in alarm. Let's select it and see what the problem is. Looking at the sensor on the graphic, the temperature reads 76 degrees. This seems reasonable, so why is the zone displaying red? The set point graph on the page looks very similar to the color band we discussed previously. Also, notice the white vertical line at 76 degrees. This shows the current zone temperature relative to the set points. You can use this graph to determine the desired temperature range for a zone. Click on the green band and you will notice the set points are 65 and 70 degrees, which may be too low for this zone. You can also click on any of the other colors to see their corresponding limits. You can also use the set point graph to shift set points by holding down the left mouse button. If you only want to adjust a single set point, then click on the set point that you wish to change and then move it to the desired set point. Until you click the Accept button, you have only made changes on your screen. Accepting your changes updates your system to match your screen. Looking at the set point graph now, you can see that the vertical line crosses through the dark blue color band. Now, instead of the zone being too hot relative to the set points, it is requesting heat. Notice what this change has done to the operation of the equipment. From the graphic, you can tell that the fan has turned on and the damper has closed. The equipment graphic always indicates the actual operation of the equipment.